All right, so you just ran out of line on your DeWalt 20 volt trimmer. Let's show you how to change that real quick. I'm not gonna make this long and drawn out, gonna make it nice and quick for you. So let's go. First of all, you can see over here, it's a little lock indicator saying that this locks when you rotate it counterclockwise. So we're gonna ro rotate it the other way, take it off. You can see it's got little notches in here, little notches in here. When you're locking it, you see those little white bumps there stick through to indicate that it's locked back on. So let's put some string on here real quick. All right, got some string. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna whip off, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 feet. Now we got our string. What we're gonna do is just fold it in half. So stretch it out, fold it right in half so you found the midpoint of the line. You can just hold the two ends together, pull it out, find where the center point is. All right, I took all this string. I folded it in half evenly, brought the two ends together, marked the center point. So now we're gonna take this, grab the spool, pay attention to the direction. So when you wind, you're gonna to wanna to wind it this way. So you take that center point, hook it right there. So basically what you're doing is you're putting line on the upper spool and the lower spool at the same time. Follow the direction, which is this way. Keep those separate, try to do them evenly so it doesn't bind up in there. All right, I'll be back in one second. Okay, you can see, getting to the end of the string now. Right there, we've filled both the top and bottom spools evenly. Now, just to help us out, we're gonna use these little notches one more time to hold the string. I'm gonna do one on that side and then one on the opposite side. And these line up with the two holes that come out of the trimmer head. So we're gonna push this back in, feed those through the two outer holes, and then we're gonna lock this back in place. All right, here's the trimmer head. Here is the loaded spool. You got your hole here. And one on 180 degrees on the other side. So we'll plug both of those in. One on that side. One on that side. You see how handy these little grooves are for holding the string in place. That was back in place, the line's where it's supposed to be. Now we want to take this, follow the locking symbol once again. We want to get this back down and in until one of those little white bumps on the spool shows in the lock position. And we are good to go.